The homeless in a northwest side wash are being forced to leave, but where will they go? Several people have until Monday to pack up and leave an area of land owned by a cement company. Some are vets like Tom Fry Sr. who don't qualify for veteran services. Tom, a Marine, has lived in the wash for four years and now advocates are working to get him into a permanent home. Now in your signs, Valerie Cavazos joins us live off of I-10 near Ruthroff. And Valerie, it's so nice to see the community come together. Yeah, sure, because many of these vets are the ones who fall through the cracks, dishonorably discharged, or they haven't spent enough time in the military. A few ended up here in the desert wanting to be left alone. Silence, solitude. That's what Tom Fry is after. Mentally, he struggled to cope in the real world, so this secluded spot in the desert wash has been his home, his haven. Yeah, he'd rather handle the hardships of being homeless. He even okay. rigged a shower. I raise it. Water goes down. Flows through the pipe around the tent. I open this up. Water comes out. But now it has to be dismantled. His tent, too, he has to leave. But this time, advocates are working to put him into subsidized permanent housing through the city's 51 Homes program and provide mental health treatment. The only reason I'm agreeing to the place that he's suggesting is because it offers counseling. I'm broke. I know this. I need to get fixed if I'm going to have a chance of any kind of normal life. A normal life. Mark Grinner, an Army veteran, now enjoys in his one-bedroom apartment. Once living on Tucson streets, his new home allows him to focus. If it wasn't for the services, I'd still be on the streets. I mean, I have a lot of support that I didn't have, which has encouraged me to go back to school. 51 Homes was able to pick him up and to provide a housing voucher um, for Mark to come into housing. A voucher similar to Section 8 housing Tom can also receive if he chooses. The city's 51 Homes mission is to end veteran homelessness by 2015. Hundreds have been housed and hundreds still need help. If you'd like more information on how you can help, you can log on to our website, kega9.com. Reporting live from the northwest side, Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side. Valerie, thank you for putting it into perspective for us. Great story.